Okay, in this video, just going to discuss the connection between the occult, having an, uh, an occult spirit, um, which could be a, a demon, it could be an unclean spirit, it could be any number of things, but the occult is based upon the worship of the earth. And they very much see the earth as an earth plane. In other words, the earth plane is flat according to occultists. Every occultist um, very much promote the flat earth, very much so. As you can see, um, watch any number of these uh, crazy um, occult videos um, where people are teaching you how to connect with the earth plane, you see. And the earth plane is what you might call basically Mother Earth or Gaia to that effect and many well not many Christians but there's about two or three Christians that I've spoken to that uh, entities or spirits have came to them to get them to try to believe in the flat earth including myself in the past year so this is why I'm very much against the teaching of the flat earth because it's occultic uh, there's no proper evidence of it. Um, Luciferians very much promote the Flat Earth. If you actually study YouTube, all the Flat Earth videos are monetized. None of them are taken off. But when you're actually speaking about the truth of these entities, um, you know, as I discussed in previous videos, then videos are just removed. And they, uh, they also speak about the dream plane as well, which I'll go on to explain. But let's just uh, listen to what this uh, cultist woman has got to actually say about the, the flat earth plane. So get comfy, put your feet flat on the floor, and I'm comfy, put your feet flat on the floor, and I want for you to take three deep breaths. And so what she's saying, you must be connected to the flat earth, you know, have your feet directly on, on the, the flat earth and all that to be connected with the plane. Um, interesting. I don't know what she's meant to be doing there. Okay. After you've taken a couple of deep breaths, I'd like for you to visualize roots coming out of your feet, uh -huh. growing deep into your floor, going down through the concrete, and through the various layers of the earth. I am a tree. Through the gravel, through the dirt, into the bedrock, and make it all the way to the center of the earth. While you yeah, so the uh, center of the earth, of course, where hell is, according to the Bible. But according to these flat earthers, of course, you know, it's just a spiritual thing. It's just uh, some weird spirituality they're trying to teach. But the Bible talks about hell being in the center of the earth uh, or in the middle of the spherical earth. So she's trying to connect you to hell. Really, that's what she's doing. While you do this, you may begin to feel a tingling sensation. Yeah. This is completely normal. That is just... Now, if you ever do feel tingling sensations, except that, you know, you're, I don't know, you're sitting on a beach and it gets rather cool. <laughs> but other than that, if you're doing spiritual exercises and you're getting tingling sensations, this is to do with demonic possession. Very much to do with what I would call um, unclean spirits, spirits of the earth, connected with uh, the principality called Beelzebub. He is the prince and power of the earth, but also he is, a, is an earth goddess and all of that. And, uh, you know, and uh, witches tend to very much connect with this earth goddess stuff. Your energetic body picking up on the high frequency, high vibration of the earth. Now, once you've done that part. And you notice how they're always talking about vibrations, you know. Um, <coughs> when a person gets demon possessed, 
okay, or when a demon is trying to possess a soul, it's almost like it vibrates. Uh, you know, there's there's been occasions where I've been in spiritual warfare and uh, demons have tried to enter into me, but because I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, they can't get in. Like, for example, if I'm sleeping at night time and I get a, a demonic attack, um, sometimes it can be uh, these entities trying to, to gain access to whatever, you know, my my uh, dream life or my, my soul, something to do with that. But uh, it's always associated with the demonic possession, the so-called high vibrations in the crystals that they try and do the healings. What they're actually doing is inviting demons to come in to people and they might get a, a, a temporal, uh, the, the pains might go away. I mean, you're not talking about major, um, like in the last reformation, like a lot of these street ministries, they go out to pray for people's sore heads and sore backs. I mean, come on. The apostles never wasted their time with that rubbish. You know, they, they were literally taking people out of wheelchairs, new limbs growing back, people raised from the dead. All these false signs and wonders are from demons. You know, like, oh, my back is now, it's not very sore anymore. And then within a few weeks, it gets like 10 times worse because you've just invited a demonic entity into your into your life. You know what I mean? And you need to meditate more and then probably end up getting into all, all types of witchcraft after that. So, yeah. I would like for you to try this next section. With each breath, as you inhale, I want for you to pull earth energy up into your body, and as you exhale, feel your energy body being exchanged into the earth. Okay, let's start. Breathe in, pull energy from the earth up into your feet and into your ankles. Breathing out, pushing the energy back down. Breathing in, pulling earth energy up through the earth, through your feet and into your lower legs. Breathing out, feel the energy going into the earth. Breathing in, pull the earth's energy up through your feet, through your legs, all the way up to your knees and your thighs. Breathing out, allow the energy to return to the earth. Breathing in, pull energy up through your feet, through your legs, up your into your hips and your root chakra and th this is a form when when there's a form of repetition it's also uh, to do um, with uh, putting people in a trance as well so this has got to do with putting you or your mind in a hypnotic trance um, so all this is about demon possession um, I know there's a few med videos being made by Brian Denlinger and another woman about like uh, the last reformation. Still to be convinced, um, but it, it seems to be a plagiarist as well. So that's that's an, a that's a thing I really got to look into. Um, I got to start praying against these false ministries, obviously, that um, they stop deceiving people. But I think one or two of them are genuine, like the ones that go out and uh, pray for people and that. But I don't think there's that many. Take a deep breath and exchange that energy. Push it back down to the earth. Breathing in, pull the energy up through your legs, up into your hips and to your lower abdomen, so below your belly button. Breathing out, push the energy back down. If you feel at any point like the energy is stuck or you feel a heaviness, take an additional breath. Breathe more earth energy up into that section of your body before continuing to move forward because that means you have a block in that chakra. Let's continue. Breathing in, pull earth energy up through your legs, up into your torso, into your belly button and your solar plexus. Breathing out, pushing the energy back. Breathing in, feel the energy come up through your body, up into your heart and your chest. Breathing out, feel the energy go down. Breathing in, pull the energy up through your legs, through your torso to your shoulders. 
Breathing out, allow the energy to cycle back down. And so it goes on, Breathing guys. In, I, won't, I won't bore you with all of this, <clears throat> but she basically ends up being fully demon possessed. And then she makes videos about how she met reptilians and ETs were in my garden. Now, does this mean that these entities don't exist? No, they do exist. It's just that, um, you know, she's learning through hypnotic trances to get in contact with demon spirits and talk to them. You see, it's not that they don't exist. But yeah, they, they do exist, but uh, you know that they're actually part of this woman's life, and it's called it's, it's a form of witchcraft that she's doing. And uh, you know, to get real healing and energy, you get filled with the Holy Spirit. That's that's not the reason you get filled with the Holy Spirit, but you know, you, you, you get all these things as a bonus when you start following Jesus Christ. Now, there's another video here. Um, flat Earth and the Occult, and so you're getting this these Luciferian uh, things about Aleister Crowley. You know, I'm not going to play this video; it's pretty creepy. But as you can see here, um, it's talking about being uh, in contact with uh, spirits in the dream, the dreaming plane. They talk about. They're always talking about the Earth as a plane, the dream plane, and all that stuff. I mean, there's a guy, it's a recent convert to Christianity, and he's, he literally goes to bed early in the hope that he gets dreams, and whatever the dream tells him to do, that's what he does. You know, and I think that's dangerous as a new convert, because as a new convert, uh, yeah, God speaks to us through dreams and visions, but that's not the only way that he speaks to us, and Satan can emulate. Satan can get in, especially new believers, uh, you know, uh, you, you can deceive people through dreams and visions as well. And so it does take a little while to, you know, get close to the Lord and uh, start identifying which dreams are from the Lord and which are from Satan, you know. Remember, King David got deceived when uh, Satan came to him and asked him to take a, a census. And King David really probably thought, it, it doesn't really say in Scripture what he thought, but he may have thought it was God that was speaking to him. And then when he took the census, God became really angry. And I said, and he said, you know, who told you to take that? So David then knew that he had been deceived by Satan. You see? So that's that's King David. That's one of the patriarchs of the Old Testament. And so Satan can be very, very deceptive indeed. Indeed. You know, if every single one of us are under this trial and test. Um, and uh, it's a wrong thing. <clears throat> just to go by one, like your dreams, no, um, Satan can get in there and start playing around with that part of things, um, and so we should be very aware of this, um, that there are entities and principalities that are, that are over a lot of these things, until a person gets baptized and born again, and as Jesus Christ says, the kingdom of heaven, is like a woman leavening bread in three parts and so it takes just a little bit of time um, for your uh, carnal um, you know soul which uh, has inherited the original sin from Adam to get cleansed born again and filled with the Holy Spirit it does take it can take a little while fasting does tend to help help a lot but I would only fast under God's command and direction, you know. I wouldn't just I wouldn't just fast be, um, on a whim because somebody on YouTube's told you to fast or something. I would I would, just wouldn't do that because it's if you're fasting without any command from the Lord, and you're doing big long fasts. You're leaving yourself wide open to demons. Um, hallelujah. So be be aware of that. It harnesses a gateway into another realm, Mother what Earth I call said. the vaginal vortex. Once we're through, we will be able to remain in paradise, and some of us may choose to Flower exit this entire matrix through the black sun, which is indeed a... You see that? So this is another occultist flat earther um, telling telling you if you believe in the Bible, you're, you're lying Heaven basically. Heaven on Earth. So Mother Earth harnesses a gateway into another realm what I call the vaginal vortex. Once we're through, 
we will be able to remain in paradise, and some of us may choose to exit this entire matrix through the black sun, which is indeed a black hole sun. The great deep that many flat earth depictions describe is not a place to fear. It's simply dark because it's perpetual twilight down there, illuminated it's by hell, the black sun. According to the word I've of said God. over and over again, down below is not a place of horrors and damnation. Mm. That idea has been given to us so we may never discover the fountain of youth. So you see where this flat earth is going? You're getting, getting all the occultists, all the occultic videos uh, promoting the flat earth because it's in all their incantations and spells as, uh, as in dark witchcraft, black magic. You see that? And so w when I actually say that uh, flat earther's father is, is Satan the devil, I'm not, I'm not uh, playing around with that. That's a fact. If you're a flat earther, you're listening to Satan the devil. And he's got a, an agenda um, with this flat earth. The scary stories of hell and the underworld, throw them out of your repertoire. We are in hell right now. Why? At the beginning of this video, I mentioned the ancient Finnish representation of our flat plane. Within this model, a great whirl was caused by the North Pole by the rotation of a column of sky. Through this whirl, souls could go to the outside of the world to the underworld. Ancient cosmology and illustrations are riddled with mandalas and drawings that all converge toward the center. This is no coincidence. Get to the... So this is your evidence. This is your real hard evidence as a flat earther that the earth is flat. Not according to the Bible or the word of God, but according to occultists. And you got an occultic spirit if you're a flat earther. Center. X marks the spot where we find the Holy Grail. Underneath Polaris, shining down from the center of the flat earth dome. Yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please take care of yourself.